G'day and welcome back to the channel. After this episode, you're gonna think I'm nuts. This you crazy mother. So I've set myself a couple of deadlines. One of them is the flat pack pickup. I still struggle with that. And the other one is the mini bike that I'm building, the Dexon for Boogaloo. So, I mean, that's no big deal, the mini bike, but the, um, the pickup is a big job. And this is not the pickup. Can you work out what it is? So I need a ute. My daily driver is a sedan and I don't know why I got a sedan to be my daily driver, but I cart more things around in the boot of that thing that I probably shouldn't, and um, I need a ute. So I was like, maybe I need to get rid of it and get myself a ute, which I really need to do. And I'd organized to sell it, and then the time came where a guy actually wants to buy it, and I'm like, I don't really want to buy a ute, like a late model ute. I like the old school stuff. I'd rather be fanging around in an old clapped out truck or ute than something fancy and new. And when I say new, I mean anywhere, you know, 10, 20 years old. That's new to me. And honestly, I've been struggling to buy myself even a four or a $2,000 ute, a late model, <laughs> 10 or 20 year old ute. I'm just like, I don't want to buy it because it's not me. It's just something I'm going to have to sell again. And I'm like, well, you know what? I've got two utes. Actually, I've got three. I've got a couple of trucks and I've got the Model A pickup. Let's get one of these on the road. Let's not muck about as my daily driver. And this is where we are now. And I wasn't even going to do a video on this because I just got to get this done. I've given myself four weeks to get this thing on the road. So it's my F1. Glass. It's so loud. It's my F1. And I've got everything to finish it. I've got a nice forward log motor here. I've got three-speed top loader. And it's just coming together so easily. And I'm just like, you know what, today I'm... Let's just chuck a video up and um, let's look at the progress. So in New South Wales, we've got strict rules as far as modifications go. You can't go putting in new cross members um, and stuff like that. So they, they kind of got you over a barrel a bit. But if you do it properly, you can do it. And that's what I'm doing with this. So what I've done with this, I've put, I've made up some engine mount brackets so I can run original engine mounts on the original chassis mounts for the side bow V8. So that sorts that thing out. There's no new cross member there. And I could not believe this when I did this because I was like, I'm surely have to make an adapter plate even to make this um, rear gearbox mount work. Have a look at that. That's the top loader extension housing. That's the original cross member for the side valve V8 gearbox. It's in exactly the same spot. So I'm going to be able to run a late model, well, late model, 70s style uh, gearbox mount straight into that cross member without any modifications at all, which is pretty cool. So that keeps me 100% legal, which is awesome. One of the jobs I did today was mount my... Um, floor shifter so these are available in a floor shift or a column shift more common as, as a column shift in Australia three speed on the tree on the column so this is a three speed gearbox it's a 68 box and this is probably out of a Mustang or something like that um, it's a genuine Ford top loader three speed floor shift setup and normally they mount on the back here now this is a column shift box I know that because there's no mounting points for the shifter um, so today I made up a bracket and brought the actual shifter forward to suit the truck style floor which it'll come out pretty much the same spot where the original shifter was. Another thing I did today was mount my clutch 
master cylinder, so I'm running a hydraulic clutch, which is standard on these gearboxes, um, straight through the original F1 chassis um, next to the brake master cylinder, which is brand new, and that's worked out really good, so that's all hunky-dory. Right now I've got the cab tilted back because I've been doing a few rust repairs. Um, there's a couple of holes in the floor here which I've cut out, and I'll do that once I drop it down. But I'm leaving the cab up right now because I've got to do brake lines, do my tail shaft. Obviously, I've been doing my clutch and master cylinder setup. There's no rush to drop the cab down. It's just giving me some space to work, which is uh, pretty cool. So I'm not going to film every aspect of this build, but I thought, you know what, let's just chuck it up today, give you a bit of an update what's going on. Hopefully on Wednesday, I'm going to head down to a uh, metal supply place, get some metal to make up my tray. I'm going to do a step side style tray for it. I've got some 39 style rear guards right now until I find some 48 to 50 style forward rear guards. Um, the 39 ones will do for now. So I am not doing this thing up. I'm just getting it together, mechanically sound, safe as a user. It's going to be my ute. So I'm just throwing it together. I'm not painting chassis. I'm not sandblasting things. I'm throwing it together. Um, doing up the brakes, doing up the body that you know to make it pass basically make it legal So yeah, we, it's this is pretty much the, one of the easiest um, Builds I've done to be honest because I'm not going too full on with it um, Steering sorted I just got to go over the brakes. I've got new wheel cylinders for it. I've got new brake hoses for it I'm waiting for my brake lines I'm gonna run all new brake lines through there in all honesty if I had this in a workshop and I was working as a mechanic That's my trade um, and I was well, I could probably knock this over in a week. Um, I've given myself four weeks, so it's going to be done easily in four weeks. And because I'm not really modifying anything, restoring anything, it's just an easy throw together job. I've got everything I need to do to finish it pretty much. I've even got a radiator, the radiator out of the um, the, remember the blue CM I wrecked out? Well, that radiator is going to work in this. It's all about recycling, and that's what I'm all about. It saves you so much money. I've got bits of this truck everywhere. The fenders are down here in the yard. Um, there's the uh, radio support panel, inner guards. There's my left hand fender, my right hand fender. And I'll bring them up once I'm ready. At the moment, without them on there, I've got heaps of room to work, which is a bonus. So yeah, once I drop the cab, I can put in my new wiring harness. There's all my New wheel cylinders, I've got hoses somewhere, I've got stuff everywhere at the moment because of all the cars I've got going on. So yeah, that's the F1. It's getting done and um, I'm still plowing on with the Model A Ford. I'll put an update today, um, a little progress shot on my Instagram. You've got to check that out. I'm not going to show you here. The next Model A episode will be up on Friday. Um, so check that out. I'm well ahead of the episodes, so... What you see on Friday is not where I'm at now, and um, I'm just going to do once a week upload. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to be working on that, working on this, working on the mini bike. Three major projects I've got to get done, and I'm going to do it. Don't tell me I can't because that just inspires me to do it harder. Check out the other videos on this build. Um, I'll link them at the end here, and um, I'm not going to film a lot of the stuff. I'll do little updates like I'm doing now. Because I'm just, I need to get things done. I can't muck around filming and editing and stuff. I'll do a little bit more of that kind of stuff with the Model A. But this thing, I really need to get on the road as quick as I possibly can. So it takes time to do these kind of videos. Especially when you're filming your work. It takes longer. A little update like this. Hey, I'm done for the night. I'm having a cold one. And I'm chilling out. I'm about to have a shower and relax. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. And I mean that. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.